Today I'm going to be reviewing this Swisker Halo UV. This is designed, for a actual UV light that's designed for hygiene and cleanliness, those sorts of things. So let me go ahead and open this up for you. This is what it's going to look like inside. So this is just kind of stuffed over the top here. So you've got this portion, you've got your UV light. You also have a little hanger as it is designed to not look at the UV light at all. So that is something that is important to note. This goes just right inside of here, I believe. Just kind of slides right up. And then it does also come with a remote as well. So you've got on, off, and then a timer for that. And this is just gonna slide, looks like right down into here. Let me go ahead and see. Not sure if it goes like that. Yeah, that looks like that's in place. Okay, so that's gonna be the UV light. Now I did want to go, it does have a warning on here. You don't wanna look directly at the bulb while it's lit clear the room, and then you're essentially just going to ventilate it after you use it as well. I actually do have sunglasses that I'm going to be wearing while performing this test. Before I get to plug it in and turn it on, I did want to give you the measurements on the cord and then on the device itself. So your width on the base is going to be right around six and a half inches, the height of the entire thing. That's going to be around 13 and a half inches or so. Width on this top part is going to be around four and three quarters inch. And then thickness, you're going to be around three inches on the base. And then this top part is going to be about an inch. Let's say about an inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth, somewhere in there. Now your cord length is actually relatively short. So you will need to have this pretty close to an, a wall outlet or an extension cord for plugging in. And I'm going to say a cord is going to be around 56, 57 inches, something like that. So not quite five foot on the length of this cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my sunglasses and plug this in. Now I did go ahead and plug this in and it does not turn on when plugging in. So you do have to hit the on button on here to turn this light on. Now again, I am gonna have sunglasses on just because if we're talking UV light, which is the same sort of light that's going to be coming from the sun. So you do wanna be make sure to be careful with this. And then, so you know, don't look directly at the bulb. And then also it says, don't do this when anyone is in the room. So since you're gonna do this like one room at a time and run it, but you're just gonna turn this on. And I'm just going to leave that on for just a minute here just to kind of get a smell. And it is definitely putting out a smell for sure. So it is going to be it is going to be important for you to clear out the room after use. So this is what it is going to look like. Yeah, it definitely has a strong smell just for turning on for those couple seconds. Um, so this is what it's going to look like when you use this UV light for cleaning, hygiene, etc. inside of a room.